What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Zoe joined up with the Band of Marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Any luck finding one of those manuals? No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer! I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Well, don't keep... The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! Two whole data... Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical? If I... That's a complete set! All three parts! I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen! Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit.
Welcome. All systems are now operating within acceptable parameters. Shall I take our ship into orbit? communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place, and we can start by reviving the hope. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shr It has limits. First-generation technology, you see. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on sta- Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. 
We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. <laughs> A change of clothes. What is this? Some old... The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and... F Science, that's how. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't try... The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Breaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borsten beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else?
Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to ground. That's not the point. This halfway just knocked out one of my- Hey, no offense, but I don't think this walking salt tuna can's gonna appreciate you interrupting. Keep talking, Millstone. See what happens. Now's not a good time. I'm dealing with a problem here. So, go space yourself. Problem solved. You must really want to trunch it through your teeth. Do what you want. I'm done here. Whatever you heard, it's all true. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together. Hey, not but I saw you wander out of that ship o Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. We move cargo 16 hours a day, and half of us still can't afford to bed. You learn to keep your eyes to yourself, Mike. Customs and inspection, right this way! Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them? Well, oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your Make sure you bring an empty belly. Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. I got a preference for the lost hope, my You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone... Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. 
Two biggest operations are the board. That is, how most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. If you're thinking to make a career here, full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited. Or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. Are you pulling my leg? Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the power... A bunch of companies decided to throw in... Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. A few years before... Once everybody'd been deep thought, I guess that was the start of Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Glad to help. They strip the parts from derelict ships, sub the wrong. Alright. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill. Not that he would, being a board man. Sure thing. Be seeing. I picked up a signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. Huh? There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was. Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a... There's something weighing on my mind. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. I'd like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room? Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a se Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now. I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. 
and Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for... If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got... Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Might want to acquaint yourself. You'll find her fretting an engine. Yes. Take. What do you want? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters. Because that's what the board tells. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. Any time. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plate. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Those XF411s and an old Yakita 37?